Hello everyone! Today I promised you that I would be trying some interesting Asian fruits for you. Some that you may not or may have seen before. And honestly, some of these I have not tried before, but some of them I actually really love. Um, one of my favourites on this, actually, I bought it yesterday and the only reason I bought this one is because it was actually the cheapest piece in the supermarket. Uh, it's quite expensive because the actual fruit is really, really big. It's uh, the size of a poo, maybe two footballs, and it's green and really, really spiky. Um, I wish that I had smell vision right here now because this reeks. This smells like... Um, uh, how would I put it? It smells like mouldy socks. It smells like um, uh, wet, like really wet socks that have been left in a washing machine for maybe a week. And it smells like it too. My refrigerator actually stinks right now. <laughs> and I'll put this up with it too. This one is actually jackfruit. This is one I have never tried before and I'm very interested to see what it's like. But these two look quite similar as you can see. This one's a bit mushier and this one looks like really giant pips and actually the fruit, both fruits, look quite similar. So this one is like green and really, really spiky, very, very spiky fruit. This one is also green but has slightly smoother bumps but it is still a very bumpy fruit and this is actually out in season right now here in China and it's really cool to see all the homes with jackfruit trees and beautiful big looking jackfruits on them and everything so I'm really interested in trying this. Another fruit that I have is this funky fruit. It is not an apricot. I like to call it an apricot but it's not. This is actually a loquat, yeah, Chinese loquat. This is, um, I think it's native to China, but um, I have tried this but a long time ago, so interesting to try that one. Another one I have is a rambutan. I'm really sorry about the lighting in this video. Um, I did buy these yesterday and they were this lovely red, rich red colour. But yeah, I, I haven't tried this one before either, so I will be very interested to see what this is like. And it is actually related to... Out. <sighs> Yummy! This is uh, lychees or lychees. They call them lychees in China, I don't really know why. But I know them as lychees and there are so many different types of lychees, like this one actually comes from Malaysia and this one is one type that you can get in China and they're also out now in season and there is another one that's grown in this area that is more a smaller slightly smaller than this one brown and quite papery the actual skin is quite papery but I will try these and I'll show you what it looks like inside I have so many poops tomorrow it's crazy uh, the last fruit is this really cool, It's I love this, it's so lovely. This is dragon fruit, strangely enough, it is called dragon fruit. And this is actually a cactus, yes it is a cactus, it is grown on this long green cactus and it just sort of at the end of a cactus, it is amazing, it's really beautiful. And I will surprise you in a minute by uncutting, cutting this and seeing what it's like. Okay, first one. I'm going to leave the durian last because of the aftertaste and the smell. I've already tried it before, so I will leave that one last because I know. Um, I might start with a friendly one first because I know what it tastes like. Uh, I will try the, when I can pull it off, a lychee. Okay, so this is... It's got a big seed in the middle, so you've got to take the skin off, like so. And it's quite fleshy when I can take it off. Here we go. So it's quite a fleshy fruit inside. And you can see some of the papery-ish looking skin here. So, mmm. 
this is perfect at the moment. One of my teeth actually fell out this week and I'm in the process of getting a crown made and I'm sticking to soft foods at the moment so this is perfect for that. All right. Very good. Now maybe I will try the rambutan. Okay, so I think we also need to take the skin off. I'm going to try and cut it. Mm, okay. Oh, it looks just like the one that I just had, the lychee. Oh, okay. Well, this is really juicy. It might be a little bit overripe. Okay. So that is that one. It looks just like that one. This one's like it too. I think it might be overripe a bit. Yeah, it's definitely overripe. It's a bit blah. It's kind of like coconut, coconutty, like that candy coconut that you can get. The really, the juby coconut. It's kind of tasteless. I do prefer the actual lychee much better. That being said, it might also be overripe. So this the low court. Now, I have been told you don't eat the skin. Maybe I'll die. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use a knife. I think it's just easier. Oh, it's quite thin. Oh, okay. Gee, it reminds me of an apricot. Mm, I can't describe the smell. Oh, whoa. Very juicy. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so, whoa, very juicy. I'm going to cut in the middle because I do recall there being a seed. And then I can just show you. Okay. And in the middle, there are some seeds like that. Oh, sorry, there we are. Taste test. Oh, it's soury. Is that a bit of a a bit of a soury kind of taste? I don't know if it's a fruit I would eat every day. It's okay. It's tangy, a bit tangy, a bit soury. I think if you're not a lemon person. This wouldn't be for you. I might continue with what I haven't tried yet and try the jackfruit. Let's see. Smell. Mm, can't tell. Oh, that's a very interesting smell. It smells like candy, really sugary candy or something. It's really strange. I'm going to cut a bit off just to test it out. I have never, ever tried this before. Okay, let's see. I can't, it tastes like something that I have eaten before, but I can't, I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, oh man, I, I probably an acquired taste. I'm not sure if it might also be a little bit overripe because it does look like it's getting a little palery yellow. I'm, I don't think my lighting is very good here to actually see that. Yeah, it's interesting. I'll just cut in a little bit more to see if there is a stone or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, yes there is. Wow, it's got a really big, wow, there's like a huge seed in the middle there. Jackfruit, okay. They're a lot more um, organized. I don't know how to say it. They're, they're more of a pip, an organized pip with a it's like a giant with a seed in the middle kind of thing, but it doesn't taste like that. Okay, and I have, oh, I forgot to show you, yes. Yeah, the beautiful one, the dragon fruit, beautiful pink color. Inside we have, ta-da, black and white. How cool is that? That is the most bizarre fruit you've ever seen. So bizarre. It's kind of like a mm, kiwi fruit. I guess it's like a kiwi fruit. And for the taste test, spoon, because it's quite soft. So I can just sort of shove a spoon in like that. You can eat everything, obviously, except the skin. So it's like, I want to say it's like a kiwi fruit, but it's not. Um, it's It's got a Maybe like a texture, like a kiwi fruit, like you can scoop it out and eat it like that and it's got the seeds and everything. It's not very flavorful. It's sweet and when you get to the bottom it gets quite juicy, but it's not overly flavorful or overpowering or anything. It's a really good fruit. I really actually like eating this for breakfast sometimes with something else. Mm, durian. I already know what this tastes like. 
I buy it at the moment pretty much every week while it's in season. I think it's awesome. It's very much an acquired taste. Actually, in Indonesia, you cannot get on a public bus with this. You cannot even go into a hotel room with this. Oh, that reeks. Oh, yeah. It's very custody. Um, oh, it's so gooey. And it might also be a little bit overdone, but that's okay. So it's got a very custody-like texture. Mmm, yummy. Yummy. I'm going to brush my teeth about ten times tonight. Mmm. I'm meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow, and she will still be able to smell this on me. <laughs> yummy. I have a bit more. It's so good. Mm. Have you ever tried any of this fruit yourself? Let me know in the comments below. What do you like? What don't you like? Is there any other fruit that you want me to try that's in Asia that I might be able to get a hold of? Um, yeah, let me know again in the comments below. Give this video a like if you like it and remember to subscribe down here. I'll see you next time.